Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video we are we will move further with the AI and we will create waypoint system for uh, Emerald AI. So on this website I will uh, mention the link in description. You can download Zumbi Pack V2 and it consists of uh, some very nice zombies. You can see here. Uh, if we move to assets and uh, I think here zombies and then you have certain type of zombies prefabs so i will just go to environment trunk f to focus on and i think we will move towards zombie 2 which we have created in the last video so here you can see that this is a zombie and if we place another zombie you can see uh, we have a lot of other zombies as well and uh, we have this type of zombies as well okay different type of zombies we have in this pack so this pack is very nice so you can see very nice zombies here so you want to create a zombie type game you can do so with this pack that is awesome so now i will just uh, delete these zombies uh, these zombies i just showed you so that if you want to create zombie game you can create uh, uh, your ai's with these zombies and i will also use these zombies in my uh, in this game maybe which we are creating with emerald ai so now in this video we will learn about waypoint system so here you can see that we have created the zombie 2 ai and uh, if we click on this waypoint editor system you will see that we have uh, the uh, enable waypoint system one more thing before moving further is that in last video I didn't show you that uh, you will select your environment and you have to make it uh, uh, navigation static okay and uh, after creating navigation static you will go to window and uh, AI navigation and then you will have this tab and in this tab you have to bake your environment you can see this blue uh, uh, area okay so this is the area where our enemy can move okay so baking uh, your environment for nav mesh is very important otherwise uh, your enemies will not work uh, accurately so here uh, for this zombie you can see that we have a waypoint editor we can click on enable waypoints and now you can see that we have certain options for the waypoint system here you can see that we have a waypoint type loop reverse random so we will select the loop so our enemies will move uh, around that uh, uh, points in a loop and uh, also we have a waypoint object import all waypoint from the current waypoint object so we don't need to select any object here and uh, also we can import waypoint data if you already have some waypoint created so now in this case we don't have any waypoint so we'll just click on add waypoint and it will randomly placed a waypoint here okay if we place click on add waypoint again you can see that it will place a waypoint here uh, with a distance okay again if we place a waypoint you can see that we have a new waypoint here if we again click on waypoint you will see that we have this waypoint okay so in this way you can place your waypoints and at any time you can remove any waypoint okay for example i will uh, delete this point three okay it will not create any problem it will just connect second waypoint to fourth waypoint okay and uh, like this so there is no problem also we can clear all waypoints if we want to do so uh, at any time if you uh, want to delete your waypoint and you can want to create a new waypoint system 
you can delete your waypoints as well so now we will just create our first waypoint let's create a second waypoint we'll just move it like this okay then we will create a third waypoint i will just move it like this fourth waypoint you can move it to this place okay and this is our waypoint system okay so that's it now our uh, enemy will follow the waypoints okay hopefully without any problem so i will just uh, uh shooter controller uh, i will just make it in uh we'll click on this to disable it and then we'll play the game and uh, you will see that sorry i will just go to game view maximize on play click on play and then in scene view we'll see the result so here if we go to scene view uh, let's see the enemy where it is so here it is and you can see that he is walking around the waypoints okay because he didn't detect any uh, player or any other thing so that he is walking around these waypoints and you will see that uh, uh, when he will reach an re waypoint he will move towards the another waypoint and then another waypoint like this so like this you can create a waypoint system uh, in this video we have learned and uh, uh, you can also apply the same waypoint system to multiple enemies as well by importing that waypoint system that's it for this video we have successfully created a waypoint system in next video we will move further and uh, we will check that uh, how we can uh, add some sounds uh, footstep sounds or other things in future videos allah hafiz